Oh, this trick, Trent. Here's a newer updated version of the Borg. Added this little pod on the side. It's got an off and on switch, plus you can increase the power uh, from zero up to however many amps you set it at. Uh, it's got these drivers I got from a guy in Russia. Some real good drivers. They'll go up to eight, a little over eight amps each. Right now I'm running about 4.6 per driver. So you're looking at over a little over nine and a half to the switch. Uh, I went ahead and left the switch in this one. If the switch ever burns out, all I'll probably do is put a piece of metal in it and bypass the switch totally to the batteries and just use this switcher as uh, full time. But I always thought it's good to have a double switch if it, if it can handle that. But it's a factory flashlight, so we'll see how long it lasts. Um, selling this to, or getting this, getting this one to a customer. He already ordered one. Uh, I told him I was going to take the switch out, but I believe I'll leave it. It seems to be holding up pretty good. So if it does burn out, I'll either fix it or explain to him how to fix it. But anyway, uh, I've also figured out something. I line these up. you got four screws here on this side, which is usually in shipping. They're always going to get messed up a little bit. But you got four screws on the side, four on the top that you can adjust. So you can see the cubes down there. Uh, you got one beam shooting in from the right here on the screen, going into the cube, one from the bottom. I found out the, the you can actually adjust it, fine tune it a little bit with the the lens on the bottom. Just moving it left or right with your finger a little bit. There's enough uh, slack in the bore of the heat sink to move it around just a little bit. So it's a little bit easier to fine tune, and you get that perfect cross where both beams are hitting. This one's hitting around uh, nine and a half to ten watts with the two. I've got the three element lens. Makes a lot prettier uh, beam than the G. G2 or G1 lenses do. Um, anyway, uh, it takes two 26650s seem to be running real good. I'm sure they're going to drain the batteries down quick. At, uh, like I say, you're getting around nine amps of power. This thing is amazing. But uh, it set a box on fire a matter of seconds at about 10 feet away or so. But uh, anyway, just doing a little update on the new version of the Borg. And uh, the reason I leave, I put black tape on them because I'm always messing and getting into them updating stuff and a person could put the shrink wrap and all that but uh, it's hard to shrink wrap in the big joints of tape they don't always look good to shrink wrap them and about everybody i sell to they're always wanting me to upgrade or update so it's a whole lot easier to get into and anyway uh it's the board so i hope you like the video it's a very powerful laser i'd hate to get hit in the chest with this from a few feet away at uh I'd say set somebody's shirt on fire, maybe make some burning videos when I get a chance. Thanks, bye. Oh, and if you like the video, subscribe or hit the like button.